Welcome. The purpose of this playlist of videos is to give you a good picture of some of the major kindergarten math topics from the first quarter. This playlist will primarily look at weeks one through six of the first nine weeks, but the ideas discussed here can easily be applied to the remaining first quarter standards as well as second quarter standards. In this current video, I will briefly discuss which standards are to be taught during this first chunk and how to relate the standards to each other. In the second video of this playlist, we will look at specific ideas for teaching several of the CC, the counting and cardinality standards. And then the last video, which is my favorite, is a very, very brief classroom snapshot showing how you can actually teach addition to very beginning of year kindergarten students while making connections to those CC or counting and cardinality standards from this unit. In weeks one through three, we focus on early number concepts with numbers through five. These concepts are introduced early in the year in order for students to have ongoing exposure to them across the entire school year. Although this is when the standards are introduced, it doesn't necessarily mean they will be mastered at this time. Students have all school year to master the kindergarten math standards. These early number concepts shown on this screen, such as rote counting, counting to find how many, and writing numbers, are introduced at this time because this is when teachers should start teaching them and build them into daily routines, such as morning meeting or calendar math. The best way to master these skills are through short, fun activities across the school year. As you do your daily counting routines, focusing on rote or oral counting, which is standard CC1, be sure to make connections between other representations, for example, as seen on this practice standards poster. This means that as students orally count, they should have opportunities to see sets of objects and numbers on the number line or hundreds charts. In addition, try to use rote counting for solving real-world problems. Showing students a variety of representations allows them to better understand the counting process and makes connections between other standards. For example, as you're doing rote counting, if you are showing students the correct formation for writing numbers, that makes a connection to C standard CC3. And if you are using rote counting or using counting to solve real world problems, you're making that connection to standard CC5, which is counting to find how many. For more information on the CC standards, including tons of great activities, daily routines, and suggestions for making connections between representations, be sure to check out the second video of this playlist from Engage New York. Start at the beginning of the video and watch through about the 12 minute mark. During weeks four through six of this quarter, we will use our knowledge of numbers through five for solving problems. Standard OA1 asks that we show addition and subtraction problems with manipulatives or pictures. Standard OA2 asks that we solve word problems. At this point in the year, this just means that we will continue practice counting sets up to five and use this counting to solve problems. We are not generating equations at this point or even really modeling equations at this point. And remember, kindergarten students will never be assessed on their ability to write or solve equations or number sentences. This actually occurs in first grade. Now, when working on standards OA1 and OA2, uh, make sure that you use concrete manipulatives like unifix cubes to show putting together and then counting all of the cubes to solve the problem, or taking apart and counting your new set to solve the problem. Really, stand these problem-solving standards are here right now just to give us additional practice with counting sets. At first, you'll want to give students objects to manipulate by either moving together or breaking apart and then counting to solve a problem. Eventually, you will want to switch to pictures. Glencoe Virtual Manipulatives has some fun storyboards uh, that you can use on your smart board and incorporate pictures for problem solving. To access this tool, I usually just Google Glencoe Virtual Manipulatives because the website's a little bit long to remember. Then once you're on the tool, you can click on Backgrounds on the left-hand side of your screen, hover over Storyboards, and then there's a variety of storyboards that will pop up. 
the storyboard that I uh, click on, clicked on here was the camping storyboard, and then you can use the pen tool to draw pictures and have your students solve problems. Be sure to check out the third video in this playlist from Engage New York. This very brief video models a daily routine that can be done to build an understanding of addition and subtraction. As the teacher in the video states, she used to save activities like the one in the video for the end of the year when she did problem solving. However, through our current standards, she realized that the beginning of the year is actually a better time to start really practicing adding and subtracting, especially if you're connecting it to students' early counting experiences.